The hardest part when you go out on an impound is to see the horses and the condition that they're in and knowing that it really doesn't take that much care to be able to keep a horse healthy. In 1989, Days End Farm Horse Rescue was founded by Kathy Schwartz Howe and her then husband, Alan. At the time, they were boarding at a local boarding facility in the area and came across a horse that was neglected and was in desperate need of care. So they decided to take that horse into their care and provide rehabilitation through feeding and um, various other methods. Since that day, that has been the mission of Kathy and Days End Farm Horse Rescue ensuring the quality treatment and care of horses through intervention, education, and outreach. Most of the time what we see is racks of bones. They've not only lost muscle, but they've lost fat. Their internal organs are not working properly. It's just, it's really hard to deal with horses like that. And we get some of them that are so bad we end up having to put them in slings. Most of the horses that come to us are extremely skinny. We can see ribs, we can see their backbone, things that you should not see on a healthy horse. We take in those horses that are so extremely neglected that animal control feels that they need to seize that animal from an owner or because that horse could face a certain death. We have to know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, one horse that really stood out to me uh, was Zodiac. He is a very large 16-2 thoroughbred. He was a stakes winner in West Virginia. He's a lot of our favorites. We really didn't think he would make it. I know I was so proud of him the first day we were able to literally walk him out of the stall. He is a case that we've never seen before and we're extremely happy to say that he is fully recovered. Uh, he is now looking for his forever home and is happy to be alive. <laughs> Aside from the feeding therapy, I mean, there is muscle therapy that's required with a lot of these guys, and, and so many of the volunteers are, are there to help. We couldn't do it without our volunteers, and I know Zodiac thanks them for sure, and, uh, and I do because to me this was always something I had to do, and to have so many people helping me to do this is just wonderful. As soon as you walk onto the farm, you feel a sense of compassion for these animals. They don't have a voice. They can't say, you know, please help me, I'm sick, I need you. You just, you can feel it between them, you can feel it between the volunteers. There's a camaraderie of everyone has this one goal and one passion for this horse, and they're gonna show it in any way possible. If they can't be here to help them on site, maybe they do a fundraiser, or maybe they're writing letters and trying to get their friends to donate and things like that, or share, just sharing the story. They're just so compassionate about what we do that they just are busting at the seams to tell about it. Friendship, there's a lot of that going on at Day's End. Whether it's the people and the horses, or the people and the people, or even the horses and the horses. <laughs> when I think about the farm and, and what it does for the horses, it gives a, them a sense of hope. You can see it in their eyes as soon as they arrive here. They know that they've made it, that they're going to be safe, that they're going to be taken care of, and that every single person here just wants them to be healthy and happy and to live forever. Love is something that happens every single day at Day's End. Just trying to be a part of everything that we do here shares love. And using the word devotion to describe the farm, I use it more in the sense of our staff. They are here 60 plus hours, whatever it takes to make sure those horses are taken care of. If volunteers can't be here to help out, they'll stay overnight. They'll do what they need to do just to make sure that the horse is taken care of. And our volunteers are the same way. We're a rescue and rehab facility for abused and neglected horses. But we're more than that. And the people that work here do it out of the goodness of their hearts. We have so many volunteers 
and so many fantastic staff that they all want to be a part of it. And I know that once we get people here at Days End Farm, they're here for a long time. You know, I made a difference in this horse's life today. It's going to feel so much better tomorrow because of what I was able to do with them today.